Hello, 7th graders, and welcome to our new English lesson. Are you good at geography? My name is Snežena Pavic, and I will be your teacher today. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to write a text using definite article the or zero article with geographical names. For this lesson, you need a notebook, a pencil, and a device with internet connection. How good are you at geography? Pause the video, copy the following nouns, and use them in the sentences of your own. When you finish, leave the sentences. We will check them later at the end of this lesson. Have you ever watched the game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's a very popular quiz in many countries. Do you know the rules of the game? There are 15 questions that the contestants have to answer in order to reach the 1 million prize. The host asks the questions and there are four answers A, B, C and D. Three of them are wrong answers and one is correct. The contestants may use up one or more of their three lifelines. These are 50-50, phone a friend, or ask the audience. While playing the quiz, your task is to complete these two tables with the geographical nouns. Each time you hear a question, you will have about eight seconds to copy a noun under the right heading. And the headings are countries uh, whose name include an, a noun union, state, kingdom or republic, for example, the United Kingdom, then oceans, seas and rivers, groups of lakes, deserts, mountain ranges and points of compass. And in the second one, continents, countries, cities, languages, mountains, but not mountain ranges, lakes, but not groups of lakes, and streets. Please pause the video now and copy the tables in your notebooks. Copy any of the nouns in A, B, C or D into your tables. You cannot move on to the next level if you don't copy an answer, the wrong one or the correct one. Keep the track of your progress in your notebooks. The winner is the student with the highest score at the end of the game. And remember, play fair. If the answer is the correct one, you win 100 points and next level 200 points and so on. Unfortunately, you cannot use the options 50-50 or phone a friend or ask the audience. However, you can work in pairs, but you have to agree on each answer before giving the answer. And welcome to my version of the game Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And the name of my quiz is Geography Quiz. I will be your host today. Good luck to all of you. So here you go. Here are your 15 questions. Answer them all. Let's start. Here is question number one. Which of the following countries is not a country in Europe? The United Kingdom, the United States of America, the Czech Republic, the Kingdom of Spain. Copy the answer that you believe is the correct one in your tables. You have eight seconds. And the correct answer to the first question is, of course, the United States of America. 
Ako ste napisali neki drugi odgovor, a ne do United States of America, ostavite. Jedino što ne možete je pribrojiti 100 bodova, ali država The United States of America ili The United Kingdom ili The Czech Republic nalazi se na ispravnom mjestu u tablici. Dear ladies and gentlemen, here is the second question for 200 points. Which of the following is not the official language in Switzerland? French, German, English, Italian. You have 8 seconds. There we go. English is the correct answer. Don't forget to sum up your score. Are you ready for the third question? This one is about continents. So, where is the river Amazon located? In South America, in Africa, in North America, in Australia. And the correct answer is in South America. And the fourth question for 500 points is what are the main mountain ranges in North America? The Alps, the Himalayas, the Ural Mountains, the Rocky Mountains. And the correct answer is the Rocky Mountains. Well done. The fifth question, which is the world's smallest ocean? The Arctic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And the correct answer is, of course, the Arctic Ocean. Great! Are you ready for 200 points? Here is the question. Which of the following is not a country in the United Kingdom? Scotland, Wales, Alaska, England. And the correct answer is Alaska, of course. It is a state in the United States. The seventh question worth 4,000 points is What is the name of the famous shopping street in London? Elitza Street, 42nd Street, 5th Avenue, Oxford Street. And the name of the street is, of course, Oxford Street. Let's answer question number eight. Which of the following are the lakes in the USA and Canada? The Plitvice Lakes, the Great Lakes, the Rotorua Lakes, the Vlahimi Lakes. Definitely, the Great Lakes. The Plitvice Lakes are the lakes in Croatia. The Rotorua Lakes are the lakes in Australia. And the Vahimi Lakes are the lakes in Bulgaria. 
Are you ready for question number nine? Which is the longest river in the world? The Thames, the Nile, the Amazon, the Mississippi. Eight seconds. The Nile, of course. Don't forget to add 16,000 points to your score if your answer is the Nile. And question number 10 is worth 32,000 points. Listen to the question number 10. What is the capital of Australia? Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, Perth. And the correct answer is, of course, Canberra. Don't forget to keep a track of your progress in your notebooks. And here we are, question number 11 for 64,000 points. And the question is, Wales is in mm -hmm, of Great Britain. The West, the East, the North, the South. The West is correct answer, of course. Well done. Question number 12, and we are talking about big numbers here. The question is, the Suez Canal connects the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea, the Adriatic Sea, the Red Sea, the Baltic Sea. And the correct answer is the Red Sea. 125,000 points. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, you only have three more questions. Question number 13 is, which of the following lakes is not in Croatia? Lake Peloton, Red Lake, Blue Lake, Jarun Lake. Eight seconds. And of course, the correct answer is Lake Balaton. Lake Balaton is in Hungary, not in Croatia. You are only two questions away from one million points. Are you ready? Which of the following deserts is not in Africa? The Kalahari Desert, the Namib Desert, the Gobi Desert, the Sahara Desert. And the correct answer is the Gobi Desert. The Gobi Desert is in China, not in Africa. And ladies and gentlemen, Question number 15, finally. Question number 15 of the 15 possible questions. And the question is, which is the second highest mountain in the world? Mount Everest, K2, Mont Blanc, Kilimanjaro. And the correct answer is K2. Congratulations.
congratulations! You just won 1 million points! Ladies and gentlemen, you may sum up your scores now and send them to your teachers. You were great. Congratulations to you all. And now let's return to our tables. Maybe you have different nouns, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. Why are these two tables separated? What do you think? Which conclusion can you draw? Right. In the upper table, we have geographical nouns that use article the. In the lower table, we have geographical nouns without article the. We generally use either the or no article with geographical names in English, but there isn't always a lot of logic. So we just need to learn if we need the or no article for each kind of place. The is also used before countries whose names are plural in form, like the Netherlands. So please add this country to the list. We use the before the names of oceans and rivers and seas and before groups of lakes, but not before the names of lakes. And we use the with deserts and with mountain ranges, but not with mountains. And we use the with the points of compass. Do not use the before the names of continents, countries and cities. However, there is a famous city that is an exception, The Hague. The Hague is an English version of the Dutch Den Haag, in which Den is a definite article. And we do not use definite article the with languages, but we use the definite article when the word language immediately follows the name of a language. And we do not use the with mountains and lakes, and as you can see here, with streets and parks. You may insert these new nouns into your tables now. Here is a task for you. This is an email that a group of English language teachers sent to their students. Read the email and decide whether to use definite article or not. Put the definite article the or no article x where it is necessary. Pause the video now, copy the link or scan the QR code and complete the email. You can pause the video and check your use of definite article. In this part of the email, you can see two more examples of geographical names. Can you find them? Yes, the Eiffel Tower and Heathrow. There are many towers in the world, but only one is the Eiffel Tower and airports. Well, we do not use the before the names of airports. You may copy these two nouns into your tables. And the second part. And as you can guess, your task is to invent the second part of the email. In the email, include geographical nouns teachers will see or visit. Start your email with a sentence. Our next trip will start next Friday and we will fly to... Remember the nouns and your sentences from the beginning of this lesson? 
you can do the self-check and correct definite article in your sentences. Did you use the definite article in front of the generic elves, the Sava River and the Adriatic Sea? And no article in front of Croatia, Marmon Street and Zrinjevac? How much have you learned about the use of definite article with geographical names and nouns? Reflect on your knowledge before and after today's lesson. Think about your learning today for a minute. What is clear to you and you can explain to others? What is still not quite clear and needs further practice? What you understand but still need a little help with? And what you don't understand yet? That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. And till next time, bye bye.